Hey everyone, welcome to Browsy, the show all about browser-based MMOs and games. Today I'm taking a look at Ein Herjar. Well, that's how I'm pronouncing it anyways. The Viking's Blood, which is uh, has a lot of similar elements you see in your in your uh, typical browser games with the city building, time management kind of stuff. Sometimes there's a CCG element, uh, you know, and then there's you have, you know, that kind of the same look and feel in a lot of games. But this one does have its own unique things that you can see I'm rifling through, which I'll cover a little bit of. So when you first start, this is your home screen, very staticky looking. Uh, and of course, you have y your city building stuff here. You can start a be the beginner's quest line right here. This is going to look a little bit odd. I'll <laughs> explain it to later. But, um,. Of course, you'll start with the typical beginning quest. It'll say, like, build your main hut, you know, then build a warrior house or build a square for your people to live. And then it'll quickly go to build lumber yard and ore and food and, uh, and then, then get into some of the unique buildings that other games have, depending on the theme and the aesthetic of it. Uh, now, this game has more of a the Japanese tactics RPG kind of combat and you have multiple people you can get which I'll, I'll get into just in a minute but here's some of your buttons in the top right for harvesting so you can harvest things like if I wanted to I could get pick quarrying and because this game has has you collecting a team you can actually do a few different activities at the same time and you can pick who you want to do uh, who you want to perform a particular activity. So uh, for a quarrying I could pick my main guy and you can pick uh, you can pick the minutes. It says let Jeremy do blank times. That just means minutes. And you can do up to an hour at a time. Uh, so let's just put this on five minutes and click go. And, and if we click our information window to raise it up it'll have the countdown right here. Now I could sign two more people to go at it here with collecting some other stuff. I mean, I could do logging, let's go ahead and do it, but then shorten it down to like one minute. And I could do even another one. And you see this kind of interesting kind of loading thing? For some reason, even though I think this is in America, this browser game lags a lot between doing things. Like anytime you press something, like now it's not really doing it with that, but you'll see it quickly when I go into combat. Um, but but after harvesting, you have production. So once you start getting the materials, you can make even more materials. And I wish I was farther along in this game, but because it's so slow to get started, I haven't gotten hardly anywhere, and I've been tinkering for weeks. But you can see that there's a ton of stuff in many different categories to to start being able to make to do all kinds of stuff, even weapons, uh, the blacksmith, of course, you can make, I could make a bronze dagger right now, which I probably should be doing, um, l let me make, see, there we go with that loading thing, um, I could look at the details of it, it'll give me attack 8, hit rate 70, and it will tell you, uh, the jobs it's good for, uh, and then I can just go, oh, okay, production, and go, and then, how many I want. Let's just do one and then hit bang. Okay, and it's it pretty much instant. And we got that little weird lag loading again. It's not too bad. So we made that. And then I can go to my units here. There's a bunch of tabs over here, about five of them, along the, the side of the window between the chat window and the game window. I can go to units and see my guys, and there's the little icon showing my guy that he's currently mining right now. But I can go to my axe dude here and go to change item, just click, and it brings up that little drop down. Now, uh, I can real quickly I can take a look at him and see, oh, he has a bronze axe right now that does attack seven, hit seventy, and endurance seventy. Well, the one I just made is ex almost exactly the same except it does one more point of damage so I'm gonna equip it and then click the equip button and then get that little loady thing and you can see it rep it's representing 
the change. So make you know making better stuff, getting stronger, a little progression there. Uh, here's the item list of stuff of my weapons, armor, accessories. Uh, here's a master ring that I could let's see I think I can equip on somebody as well. I think I can equip on my guy even though he's um, mining, quarrying, chopping, like crushing rocks. So if I go to accessory, I'm currently, it looks like I have a, let me look up down here, I have a ruby ring on right now which is giving me strength plus one. I ha Now I could use this lucky rabbit tail, it gives me luck plus ten, but I'm going to skip that. Uh, that item I have under accessories, let me click on it to see. Now here's who it's suitable for. So maybe my axe master could use it. So go back to units, go to my, or axe fighter. Let me double check that. Axe master, berserker, sword master. Okay, I must have to level up farther because I'm, I'm an axe fighter. I imagine when you level up, you become a master but that's how you basically equip equip things and you even have items like potions of course for in battle uh, and here's a list a detailed list of stuff I have you can see I have let's see I think this is uh, wrong I think I have more than this stuff let's go home real quick well maybe not so wood so what I can do is let's go to production and let's go to crafts and let's produce some wood it's it's instantaneous to produce this stuff after you've gathered it so I can go to production and I have 75 let me say I just want to make 10 it takes I think basically two logs to to make one piece of wood so I put it on 10, I hit blammo, produce 10 units of wood. And you'll need to do that to level stuff up because if you look at extensions, see I need 20 iron, plus I need the gold, but that's how you do that. Let's go back to units. We've taken a look at that real quick. So let's go to a fight. You know, it's about time I got into a fight, isn't it? and then we'll take a look at a couple other things now on the bottom left you have expedition raid support guild we're going to do an expedition which is just going out and doing fights and now you can set who you want to go with you and i can hold five and i only have five so that's what i'm doing and then i can hit go on expedition top right here this shield and axe and you can see it it's this loading lag kind of thing again it's just now here's the world map I'm the little ship on the right here and we're gonna go over here to the left and here's another thing it's interesting you have you have days and months it's gonna take me 20 days to go by sea across the North Sea to get to where I was going so here I am and and here's little points of travel and you'll have random battles pop up. See, I haven't had a random battle yet, but what will happen is you should see one soon. Maybe. Getting lucky. There we go. Now, do I want to avoid it or battle? Let's go ahead and battle. Now, let's set who I want to prepare to attack, which is all of them. And right now, I'm not too concerned about the order they're in. So we're going to load into the battle here. It'll take just a few seconds. And this condition is just defeat everyone. Now, as you can see, it's like, you know, like a, t you know, a little t Final Fantasy Tactics. So it, I would say it's like Final Fantasy Tactics, only much, much simpler all the way around. It's much simpler. I imagine it gets a little more advanced later as I get better skills and attacks. This is my mag magic user, so I'm pretty much, I gotta be careful, you know, pay attention to that. But you can click on the guy and get a little menu. I can even work on, look at equipment and stuff. I can go back. 
and now here's my movement I can go up here and I can hit standby and even pick what direction I want to wait in here's my main dude which is my sword fighter <clears throat> so I could go over here and try to lure some dudes out to attack me do standby this is my axe fighter I'll line him up next to my sword fighter and so just sit back and relax because I'm gonna play this this game I'm gonna play through it uh, feel free to fast forward through this to the rest of the show where I start describing other things after uh, I'm done with this because this will take a little bit of time but if you want to just sit back and watch you can see it all play out now my spear fighter is pretty tough she can handle herself pretty well I'm gonna go up here use her to protect kinda watch my magic users back now the bad dudes are moving Ooh. and I can always just scroll the mouse over the dudes to see their their health and a little bit of their stats see I I have um, a counter I guess most people have a counter attack uh, now here's my magic user I can't quite ah. Uh, I, if I move one, one space forward, I can. All right, back. Good. Whammo. Does pretty good. Did 12. He's got 8 left. Here's my dude. He's got... I could kill him off right now. I think. Now, I think you do get bonuses for uh, for attacking from the side and back just that's typical of a little tactics RPG I'm gonna have to do something here I'm gonna get hit by two guys maybe I shouldn't have, I should have protected him better Oh, I missed. Uh oh. oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. My magic goes one, two, three. Up to three straight from me. He's got 20. They've got both have 20 full health. Boy, that, that doesn't do much damage. Five points. <laughs> well, five's better than nothing. Oh, that, that terrain is in my way. Shoot. Ah, oh, that sucks. My magic user is going to get pounded. Uh oh, whack. Uh oh, from behind. Nah, that wasn't bad at all. He's doing some pretty good damage. And these guys are lo much lower level than me. Level 4, level 3. Now some of the random battles, they were actually one or two levels higher than me. Like 6 and 7. So where are we at here? We want to... Whoops. Back. I want to move where I could kill him off. Maybe. Uh, I couldn't, can't hit him now. Now, after you move and before you perform your attack, you can go back and re move. So you can keep. Uh, I could keep, like, moving and then checking things out, and I could go back, I could go here, and could be like, oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to go back. I'm like, get this one better. I'm going to hit him, stab him in the back. Oh, that's my guy. Now, see, I want to go just right here and stab that dude in the back. Yeah, I got him. So now I can go stab this guy in the back.
Wow, killed him. Yeah. Boy, he's asking for it. Gang up on him. Now I thought being a spear fighter, I'd be, cause I thought I'd be able to hit two squares ahead or two squares in front of me at the same time, because that's kind of how some Japanese tactics RPGs work. But I don't know if maybe I have to skill up to get that ability, or if I just don't have that ability. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We want to do this. Wow. Bam. Okay. Stage clear. So now we're going to get maybe get some goodies. You know, typical stuff. Yep. Look at that. I got some 23 gold, bronze axe, silver. Okay. So now we'll just head back home and look at some other, other functionality of the game. Now, avoid. I don't know if, if you can actually not avoid sometimes, if, or if there's, like, you know, like, if it's chance based or what, or if you can easily avoid every time. So far, I've avoided every single time, no problem, that ever since I started playing. Loading, loading, loading. Now, as you can see, nobody has talked in world chat yet uh, the entire time I've been here, but there are people in the game, regulars that play. And they seem to, to, and they, it's a very small community, but they, they seem to stick to guilds and private a lot, I guess. So now, let's take a look at our units. We've been in a fight. Uh, we can look at, see if our experience, 10 out of 50, 20 out of 75, 6 out of 75, 15 out of 75. I gained some experience, but not enough to level up yet. And there's a couple little weird houses here, like I showed earlier. There's a warrior house. And it says Warrior House is the place where characters can give birth. So you can move in. I can move a male and a female in here. So I can move I could move in my spear fighter and my sword fighter. And and little heart pot and I can hit OK. I've tried this and tried this and let them sit in there for days and I haven't been able to get this to work. They do say the, that uh, the higher level your characters are, the, the chances of getting a higher level child, uh, or either that or just one with better skills. So that's interesting. So I can grow, I can, I can grow my army just by, <laughs> just by my dudes, you know, uh, hanging out. <laughs> but uh, that's gonna be about it for this look at. Uh, Brazi for Ein Herjar or Ein Herjar. Uh, I wish I could have got farther and showed a lot more. There's there's a cold sleep section where I think after you get a whole bunch of guys, you can you can kind of put them off in here. Uh, there's the power, which is your your uh, real money transactions. You can buy it up here at the very top. There's a guide here that should help a lot. But I've looked at it. It's kind of a stripped down web guide. So it, it'll help at the very basics, but uh, you can always ask for people in chat to see if they'll pop up. There are little settings here. You can buy more land and double experience. You can turn music on and off. And uh, then you can start getting into... Actually, let me show you another thing real quick. You can go... Let's do Expedition again. And let's just send these people here because... We're just going to go to another town. We're not going to get into a fight. We're going to go on an uh, expedition to like a, a main town. And where this is where you can like start your guild or join a guild for the first time. I think it's called Hennepin. And it was su surprisingly, it takes zero days to go that far. Yet, to go, it t yet it takes a whopping 20 to go across the North Sea. I mean, obviously that's a farther distance, but come on. That's like a third of the distance to go south and it's instantaneous. So here we are. Everything's sort of a very staticky screen. 
So we have a bar here and we can get quests. We can check quests, cancel quests, get new quests, uh, all that good stuff. We can go to market, we can trade stuff so we can set up stuff in sort of an auction house. I can buy food if I want. Uh, let's, I, let's go to the arena real quick. Uh, here's nothing here. I could, let's try to, uh, you know, I could create a room, I suppose, but, uh, here's a temple, so I can, this is where the guild stuff was all about. Uh, let's go back to the market, sell goods. So if I wanted to, let's try to exhibit something. I want to sell something. I want to sell a stone, and I want to sell... I want to sell uh, 80 of them. Uh, how much do I want to sell them for? Well, you might want to look at see if see if you can even look at going prices. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to sell it for two. I don't know, just to do it. And then, of course, there's a five percent fee. Put it on to exhibit, and there we go. I could withdraw it if I want. Close this out. Um, check on my quests. I have a quest to defeat Ragnar, the corpse manipulator. NPC attractive sister. A compensation can move to Iona Ma Monastery. So it'll open up new places that way. All that good stuff. Uh, and of course, there's probably a lot more to get into as you level up really high. That I'm nowhere near that to that point yet. But uh, that's a quick look at Ein Herjar. It's interesting that there's a tactical base, that that very Final Fantasy tactics type of gameplay in this, which is very interesting. Uh, now there is another game coming out called Echo or Equal Tactics um, that's looking very much like a full-blown Japanese tactics RPG that I think Gaming Campus will be putting into a, a, cl a closed beta, they say, but I think anybody who registers to the website will be able to play the, the beta. So I don't know, if, whatever, it, they're saying it's closed beta, but it, all you have to do is literally like sign up to the website like you would for any game site, and you can get in and play. But it, they haven't announced an, a date yet, but that's a full-blown one that we'll be looking at, and I'm very excited to check tech, tech, to check that one out and next week I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna do I put up a teaser for um, a teaser for a sort of a, a deeper management game and a piratey one called not called Navi Age and it looks interesting because it looks like it has a bit more depth than most other games and it, and it looks like you actually have a little bit of choice, sort of like a Lyriad, which we'll look at too someday in the future. But uh, you can check out the teaser on my Google or on my YouTube site. I put up like a one or two minute teaser. It was really interesting in the very first minute of playing the game, a real live woman dressed like a pirate or wench or whatever came walking out onto the screen right there while I'm playing the ga the br in the browser. Which and started talking to me and gave me an introduction. So I thought that was really unique and interesting for a kind of an advertising, you know, marketing gimmick kind of thing. But uh, you can see that on the teaser, and that'll probably be what I cover next week. So until then, uh, I hope you enjoy Browsy. If you have any questions, complaints, I know I tr I'm trying to really streamline the game so you're not just staring at stuff and, and bored out of your mind. And I know these, this always goes way over the time limit I wanted. I always hope to do them in real short bursts, somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes, and they always take longer. But if you have any comments or complaints or ideas or you know, advice or anything, just put them in the comment section below. And uh, you can always get a hold of me on Google at Jeremy Stratton. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Jeremy underscore Stratton. And, and uh, you can always get a hold of me that way. Or just c try to contact me via YouTube, my YouTube channel. And I will see you next Wednesday with Navi Age.